That's why I've introduced the American Families Plan tonight, which addresses four of the biggest challenges facing American families and, in turn, America. First is access to good education. When this nation made 12 years of public education universal in the last century, it made us the best educated, best prepared nation in the world. It's, I believe, the overwhelming reason that propelled us to where we got in the 21st, in the 20th century. But the world's caught up or catching up. They're not waiting. I would say parenthetically, if we were sitting down, we set a bipartisan committee together and said, okay, we're going to decide what we do in terms of government providing for free education. I wonder whether we'd think, as we did in the 20th century, that 12 years is enough in the 21st century. I doubt it. 12 years is no longer enough today to compete with the rest of the world in the 21st century. That's why my American Families Plan guarantees four additional years of public education for every person in America, starting as early as we can. The great universities in this country have conducted studies of the last 10 years. It shows that adding two years of universal, high-quality preschool for every three-year-old and four-year-old, no matter what background they come from, puts them in the position to be able to compete all the way through 12 years and increases exponentially their prospect of graduating and going on beyond graduation. The research shows when a young child goes to school, not daycare, they're far more likely to graduate from high school and go to college or something after high school. When you add two years of free community college on top of that, you begin to change the dynamic. We can do that. And we'll increase Pell Grants and invest in historical black colleges and universities, tribal colleges, minority-serving institutions. The reason is they don't have the endowments, but their students are just as capable of learning about cybersecurity, just as capable of learning about metallurgy, all the things that are going on that provide those jobs of the future. Jill is a community college professor who teaches today as First Lady. She's long said, she's long, If I've heard it once, I've heard it a thousand times. Joe, any country that out-educates us is going to out-compete us. She'll be deeply involved in leading this effort. Thank you, Joe. Second thing we need, American Families Plan will provide access to quality, affordable child care. We guarantee When I'm proposing the legislation, we guarantee that low- and middle-income families will pay no more than 7 percent of their income for high-quality care for children up to the age of five. The most hard-pressed working families won't have to spend a dime. Third, the American Families Plan will finally provide up to 12 weeks of paid leave and medical leave, family medical leave. We're one of the few industrial countries in the world. No one should have to choose between a job and a paycheck or taking care of themselves and their loved ones or parent or spouse or child. And fourth, the American Family Plan puts directly into the pockets of millions of Americans. In March, we expanded tax credit for every child in a family up to $3,000 per child if they're under six years of age I — mean, excuse me, under, over six years of age, and $3,600 for children over six years of age. 
with two parents, two kids, that's $7,200 in the pockets that are going to help take care of your family. And that will help more than 65 million children and help cut child care poverty in half. And we can afford it. So we did that in the, in the, in the last piece of legislation we passed. But let's extend that child care tax credit at least through the end of 2025. The American Rescue Plan lowered health care premiums for 9 million Americans who buy their coverage under the Affordable Care Act. I know that's really popular this side of the aisle. But let's make that provision permanent so their premiums don't go back up. In addition to my family's plan, I'm going to work with Congress to address this year other critical priorities for American families. The Affordable Care Act has been a lifeline for millions of Americans, protecting people with pre-existing conditions, protecting women's health. And the pandemic has demonstrated how badly, how badly it's needed. Let's lower deductibles for working families on the Affordable Care and Affordable Care Act. And let's lower prescription drug costs. We know how to do this. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.